Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. Now that I've covered how to get the Underlight Angler Fishing Artifact in Legion, I thought I should also show you the best way to level it, and you may earn some gold in the process. If you don't know how to get the Angler, I'll have a link to a video in the description that goes over all of that. To level the Angler, just like any other artifact, you need Artifact Power. To get this, you just catch the rare fish that you've been catching to get the Angler in the first place. If you catch these fish with the Angler equipped, instead of giving you a fishing skill, they instead give you a base 50 Artifact Power. Note that this isn't affected by artifact research notes. So for this, our main focus is going to be the Rusty Queenfish brooch. This is one of the Asuna rare baits that you need to get the Underlight Angler. And what's special about it is that it isn't soulbound, so you can buy it off of the auction house. It allows you to see ghostly queenfish pools spread throughout Asuna for a base 5 minutes. And what's nice about these pools is that they never despawn, so they make a great way to level up the angler. So the basic idea here is to use the brooch and then fish in these ghostly queenfish schools. And during this process, I'll show you how to optimize things to maximize your chances of getting another brooch so you can do it over and over. These brooches are also currently fetching a pretty hefty price of around 4300 gold across all US servers. And depending on the level of your underlight angler, you can sometimes get multiple brooches in one pool. The only hitch with this is the fact that they're unique, which means that you can only hold one at a time. To get around this, we're going to be fishing from the pool at coordinates 4744 just east of the Illidari Strand Quest Hub because there's a mailbox nearby. So every time you catch a brooch, you're going to want to quickly head to the mailbox at coordinates 4342, send your brooch to an alt, and then quickly head back to the pool. And if you're an engineer, you can also use the portable Molly mailbox to save some time. Now this does get easier the more you have your angler leveled, and that's because for every point you put into it, you get an 8% increase to the duration of all baits. With 13 traits, which is currently the furthest for most people, each brooch has a duration of around 11 minutes, which really increases the return rate on these. And to further increase your chances of catching bait, you're always going to want to have an arcane lure active. You get these from Conjurer Margas, located on the floating island northwest of Dalaran. And not to send you to 100 videos here, but once again, if you don't know much about him, check the description because I do have a video about him that you may find handy. One last thing you can do that may be speculation, but I do it anyways, is to catch all of the other Asuna rare bait and leave it in your inventory. As you know, each zone has three rare baits that you can fish up to catch the three rare fish. So the idea here is that if you have this other bait in your inventory, your chances of fishing up the brooch are increased. I can't say if this is 100% true or not, but from my experience it does seem to be the case. In general, I noticed I got more brooches if I wasn't diluting my chances with the other two baits. I don't have any data to back that up though, so take that as you will. The other two baits are the Pearlescent Conch and the Scrog Toenail. Normally the Scrog Toenail disappears two minutes after looting it and it spawns a Murloc, but I found if you hearth to Dalaran before that happens, it stays in your inventory and the timer disappears. And as you can see, I also have the Aromatic Murloc Slime in my inventory as well, just to cover all of my bases. You get this from that murloc spawn, so I thought I may as well keep this one too. But like I said, this could all be conjecture, so I don't consider it 100% necessary. If anything though, I would still recommend doing the toenail reset because you don't want combat interrupting your brooch farm. So with all of these buffs and measures taken into consideration, in general per brooch I fish up two more on average. Sometimes less and sometimes more. It's gonna vary depending on your luck, but for me the worst case scenario is that I broke even and only got one brooch. But that's also going to vary on your artifact level. Remember, I have over 10 points in my angler, so my brooch has more than 2 times the normal duration. So on average, I get 2 brooches for every brooch used, and it's around 2,000 to 2,500 artifact power and a quick 4,000 gold, which isn't bad for 10 minutes of work. Plus, it'll be even more the more you level up your angler. Once you can get the duration to around 15 to 20 minutes, this will be a pretty good way to make some gold, because these queenfish also sell for 10 gold each. So once you have your angler maxed out, you're looking at around maybe a thousand raw gold just from the fish alone, let alone the prices of the extra brooches you'll be getting. But that's about it, I guess. Give this a try and let me know how it works out for you. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace.